Hey guys, this is Papa Kenny. I'm gonna just show you my hobby I have of uh, doing some home gardening. It's actually like city gardening. People used to think you can't grow veggies in pots, but this is how we used to do it in the city. We're gonna start, we have some potting mix, peat moss, and bone meal, which is all natural and organic. Guys, so I'm gonna show you some of the veggies I did. Some I bought were plants, and a lot of them I did this year from seeds. I started in like the end of February with seed starters, and they came out pretty good this year. And I'm gonna show you seeds, and I'm gonna show you the plants. These are potatoes, which I started from potato seeds. These are string bean seeds, which are coming along nicely. These are pepper plants from seeds. Make sure red, red pepper, red bell, and green bell. More string beans, which will be coming along after to stake those up pretty soon. Here we have sweet potatoes, which the roots are already started, and as these grow, the potatoes will start growing. We have just some peppers here from seeds. I got some cabbage plants from seeds. Romaine lettuce leaves, everybody likes romaine lettuce. These are plants I bought and these are ready to be harvested. I just got a little variety of everything. I got corn, I started from seeds. This is a big accomplishment for me. These were started right from little seeds. We have more potatoes over here. Yeah, look how tall these are. I started these in February and look where they are already. Now that we have warm weather and I keep them watered, they will start to grow pretty nice. We have potato plants, regular, like white potatoes, your red potatoes mixture. We have, these are all yellow squash. They grew nicely too. A couple of tomato plants. I have a nice cabbage head over here, which was a plant, but it started, it's growing beautiful, two plants, but they're growing very nice. And these will be ready to come off soon. This is one of the best heads I've grown in a while. Then I have some more, I think these are probably cucumbers, a couple of more corn plants. Here we have some more lettuce, which were from, uh, these are from seeds. Tomatoes, these were all from seeds. Just to give you an idea, when the seeds started, they came up like these, about the size of these pepper plants. And these have a ways to go, but with the warm weather, they'll start to produce in no time. Okay. Another tomato from seed. I did a lot of seeds this year. Hopefully they'll come in good. That's good. And here we have one more tomato. We're trying some asparagus, it's gonna be a star, but this is asparagus coming in right here. There are roots that you buy and you just plant them and they start to stalk up and they give you the instructions. As they get taller, you just have to watch them and prune them accordingly. Got some potatoes here. This is actually a potato grower. As these root up, the potatoes are growing inside the soil. And then when they get ready to harvest, these will start to die off and you know your potatoes are just about done. And I, this is my main baby here. I got this greenhouse, which helps in a lot of areas. Number one, it helps to grow the seeds, just like a regular greenhouse when they grow, or a farm when they grow veggies. They start from scratch. The moisture stays in when you water them. The heat stays in and makes them grow. These are from seeds. These are peppers from seeds, more string beans. Got a couple of strawberry plants I brought and they are just starting to bloom in here very nice. Got some cabbage, collard greens, a little mixture here. And I bought this on Amazon. And the main thing with this is, it's a lot of work, but it pays off because it helps protect your plants. Because a lot of, I've had so much trouble with 
insects laying leaves like on the cabbage. When it rains, I found out they lay the eggs on the backside as it rains, as a protector. So there's some, moths are smart also. And then you see all your little holes in your leaves and those are your eggs and the larvae eating up your leaves. So sometime I'm gonna put these in here at night or when it rains to protect it. Then take them back out in the morning, but it's a process, but it's worth it. Cause you don't wanna put all this work in and I've seen crops just go to pot. And this helps stimulate the growth of your plants. The heat in here, but sometimes you gotta leave, uh, you can't leave them in there too long cause it gets real hot and the leaves will start to wither. Like these, this type, they'll wither a lot. Like tomorrow's gonna be in the nineties. So I have to sit these outside and then maybe at night put them in or if it's gonna rain soon, I'll sit them back in. Then before I go to work, I take them and sit them back out. Like it's just a process, but it's worth it. Just like a farmer when it does his fields, he has a lot of work to do, but like I said, it's very rewarding. Everything is natural. You can, I use, I have tried to use no pesticides also, unless it's necessary. That keeps it more natural, organic. And like I said, I may have to dust sometimes on certain ones, but I'm trying to stay away from that as much as possible. Because when you got people that have, you know, certain health conditions, that helps, you know, protect their immune the system also, the less chemicals you use. These are some onions down here that are, were starting to come in. So that's, that's my list, little tour for right now, and I'm gonna get back with you guys soon. So guys, I got this on Amazon, so if you think you may, wa may want one, I'm gonna post a link where you can get the greenhouse. They have different sizes also. They have this size. They have these tall ones that are about uh, 24 inches wide and about 40 inches tall. Post a link for you can get your chemicals, your soil, and everything which would help you out. And I'll have another video soon. I'll do something from scratch just to show you how the process starts. Like I said, it's very rewarding. And I thank God for being able to do this. And I always ask God for the increase. And I always pray over my vegetables in any projects I do. I ask God for his blessings and the increase. And he gives you the increase. So that's all for today, guys. And I'll talk to you soon. This is Papa Kenny out.